Hello folks, this is the John Doe Technical Leather Motorcycle Jacket, a jacket we've had multiple versions of over the years, and ironically this might actually be the simplest version of this jacket that we've had to date, but it has the highest safety rating, so this has a CE AAA certification. Now when I say this is a simpler version, let me qualify that by saying that they have removed the internal thermal and waterproof liners. That also means though that it comes in at a more affordable price. This is £360 as of the making of this video and I believe the original was £429. That's a pretty significant saving. And it might sound like you're getting less because they've taken out that thermal liner and that waterproof liner but this is still a technical jacket and it's a bit of a trade-off really. Ultimately if you take out the waterproof liner from the jacket then it's going to perform better on warmer rides because it is going to be much more breathable. Waterproof membranes, as good as they can be, are nowhere near as breathable as a jacket without one. And realistically, most people aren't grabbing for their leather motorcycle jacket in heavy rainfall or in the winter. So this is going to be more appropriate in the types of conditions you'll more likely wear this in. And when we're talking about leather, they use a cowhide leather. It's 1 to 1.1 millimeters thick. It's a little bit stiffer than some others. It's got a really nice quality to it, and obviously it will break in the longer you own it. If you do need a bit of extra room at the bottom there, you can actually unzip this from the bottom or from the top. If you need to give yourself some flexibility around the waist, you can see YKK zippers there as well. That's always a good sign of quality. Speaking of flexibility, you have snaps quite extensively across this, so you can tighten it in around the midsection of your arm if you need to just higher than your forearm you can do that around your waist as well around your ribs depending on how you use these vents on the sides it has pleats at the shoulders for increased range of movement at your shoulders and for your arms it has storage around your waist two pockets there you've actually got one on your chest as well and they've got water resistant zips on those pockets additionally on the inside you also have two extra pockets I think it's got quite a modern look, so you do have quilting across it for accents and details, but it's not diamond quilting, which tends to look a little bit more retro. This is a more modern take, I would say. You've got John Doe logos at your shoulder, for example, and on your chest. And you've actually got another pocket on your chest on the right side there, actually, as well, oriented vertically rather than horizontally. Fit, form, and shape is something that I think John Doe excel at. So I really like the shape of this. It's got really nice broad shoulders to it. This is actually a medium. You can see how it fits me. I've got a 38 inch chest, but it's got a decent amount of room on the inside, I would say. You'll also notice a corduroy liner around your neckline, which makes it much more comfortable around your neck. And you've got a mesh liner on the inside as well, again, for breathability. Now, speaking of breathability, the big USP to this jacket and something I haven't seen from others is the extent of the ventilation you have on the sides there, especially with a leather jacket where ventilation and breathability is key. So if you unzip these from the front, you also have corresponding zips on the back as well. You can also pinch this in using these snaps around the side to make sure they're always open and always catching air. That's great. I should also say on the inside that for impact protection, you get your shoulders and elbows included. That's their own XDM armor level one. And they have a pocket if you want to buy a back protector additionally. Now, let us know what you think of this in the comment section down below. I'm especially interested to see whether or not you would miss the waterproof liner on this occasion, or if you prefer it being a bit more breathable. You can also find links for this in the description, and I will see you soon.